Good afternoon YouTube. I wanted to take this chance to do this video in this lovely windy stormy weather that's coming in uh, to talk to you a little bit about CRPS pain, phantom pain, and also phantom sensation. So uh, CRPS pain is often affected by bad weather like this or a change in weather. Um, it used to affect me a lot before my amputation no amount of medication or bed rest or any type of therapy seemed to help the pain I had in my foot when the weather would be changing, especially from like a, a warm sunny day to a cold wind, windy day or when the rains would set in, my CRPS pain would be off the charts. Um, and I hear this a lot with other people who suffer from CRPS. Now, phantom pain is a different animal. Uh, phantom pain can be best described as a burning uh, or stabbing, crushing sensation or electrical shock sensation in the limb that is no longer there. And this not only plagues a lot of people who have had CRPS in the past and have undergone an amputation to try to solve it, it also occurs with people who've had traumatic amputations or even a scheduled amputation. There's, there's no guarantee that you're going to enter the amputee life without any pain. Now, thankfully, um, because I guess the quality of my surgery and the fact that I had some nerve work done at the time of that surgery, I really don't have any phantom pain. All my CRPS pain that I'm aware of is gone. Windy day like today doesn't bother me at all. Now, phantom sensation is a little bit different. Phantom sensation can be a good thing, and I'll tell you why. Right now, I'm not wearing my prosthesis. I do not feel my foot. When I do wear my prosthesis, the interaction of the socket on my remaining leg and with those nerve endings that are in my leg, I start to develop phantom sensation over my prosthetic leg. I can feel my toes, I can feel my heel. If I step onto the outside of my foot, I can feel that. If I step on the inside of my foot, I can feel that. This helps me a lot in getting um, a normal gait pattern for when I'm walking. And that also is something that a lot of amputees struggle with. So uh, my advice to you is if you're suffering from a bad foot injury and amputation is on the table, you really have to do your research as to some of these newer nerve techniques like RPNI or TMR. Um, RPNI is the Regenerative Peripheral Nerve Interface, which is what I had. TMR is Targeted Muscle re -innervation. That's a different type of nerve procedure where the nerves are rooted into live muscle. Um, both those procedures have been known to reduce phantom pain effect and sometimes increase positive phantom sensations in the missing limb. So there you have it. Nice windy day. Gonna head for a walk. Take care.